Uh, this game also has a VR version, so if you had a headset, you could play it that way. Uh, I unfortunately do not have VR, so I will be playing it uh, with my two eye own eyeballs. <laughs> and a keyboard and mouse. Uh, no, I can actually use a controller. I'm actually use a controller this time. The year is 2072. It's autumn, and I just buried my father. I got a bill for cleanup. That's how I knew he did it. His brain was damaged, so I took what was left to a booth at the mall. It was small and grubby and out of the way. I think they used to sell colored plastic strings, but now it's interactive brain maps. Oh, okay. There was an ad for it on my bus. The ad said, leave something worth reliving. The whole thing passed me by. I don't know what I'm looking for or what I want from this, but I need something. I was thinking when there was the dialogue going on that it maybe was somewhat autobiographical of, of a, a, a kid who's came home and his father had killed himself. Uh, but then they started mentioning a booth at the mall letting you, um, you know, find their memory, memories and things like that. Then, yeah. Again, liking the music on this one, too. Got a red planet, I'm assuming. I mean, it certainly seems like some kind of spacecraft. Oh, this is like an audio experience, like. You can really get the atmosphere. If you've got good headphones, you can hear everything around you. I don't know how well it's translating in the stream, but really neat. Yeah, it does seem very pleasant, uh, which is kind of surprising to me because the... Um, if you were to check the itch page, every image is like, um, like Virtual Boy Red, which is kind of off-putting. Going down? You're awake. You're awake. I am. It must be my lucky day because you're awake. <laughs> <laughs> you're awake, buddy. Aren't you excited? Oh my gosh, you've been in hyper sleep for. Well, I'm not even supposed to tell you, but it's been a long time. A really long time. I, bet you're I think the developer work. got an auto tune program and is having fun with it. I love this android or robot or whatever it is. Things are a okay, and I've been doing a great job. And it just, I just honestly, I don't need the first thing when you're waking up is being like, "Is shit about it?" Because it is okay, and I've been doing my job. <laughs> but I don't want to get, I don't want to freak out because I am so happy that you are awake. Because guess what? I have been working on something. I've been working on something pretty special. This is really neat. During the time that you've been asleep, yes, I've been taking care of the ship, but I've been making sure that the laser, the radar systems are spinning around and shooting their waves out of everything and making sure that asteroids don't 
collide into the Oh, what do we got over here? Into the docking bay and make a big ex I I read the manual. I don't want to leave I that. Everything in yeah. But also I have been writing. That's right. Tell me all about I've your been writing. Learning to write. I've been writing, I've been writing, I've been writing. I've been writing short stories and poems and and and, and, and just sonnets and and well, that's a kind of poem, but they're all different to me. And okay, it's been you're an over here. Experience, and I'm so happy that you're awake now, because now you can share in that experience. So whenever you want, whenever you're ready, I know you just woke up. If you want to go look around for a second, that's fine. Oh, it absolutely is great. I mean, I'm not an audiophile by any stretch of the imagination, but fantastic use of directional audio. Uh, I guess we're going towards the white light. Uh, there's that one over there. There's that one over there. Oh, the blue circle right here. I gotta remember where I came from. Which I have no clue. We got a sign. What does it say? Under control. Let's let's check it closer. Oh no, he just put, he just put a sign up there saying, "Oh, it's under control. Don't worry about it." And this is just straight up just moving around, so it's really about just taking in the atmosphere. There's no jumping, there's no interacting, besides, like, bumping into something. Um, let's see. But you. This may have been where I originally came from. I don't recall. Okay, it is. Uh, so this game is available for absolutely free on itch, as, as you would see with the link that I provided earlier. Uh, it is also, um, as I said, it's on Steam. Uh, the Steam version is a dollar. I don't know if it's just to kind of cover the fact that Steam charges a fee. Uh, but from what I understand, it is not a different version. And of course, if, if you're going to pay for this game, which I do recommend if you have the ability to um, provide a little bit of something to free games, do so. Uh, I would I would recommend you do it through itch because you are guaranteeing the developer gets more of the uh, more of the money, if not all of it. Um, it's on the developer themselves with itch to determine what kind of cut they're going to get. With Steam, I want to say it's like uh, Steam gets thirty percent of the profit. Trees are like. And I don't know what that means. I have a desk in my room, and when I sit at it, I feel Oh, I wanted to see what that said. Light bulbs mean ideas, but I don't have any. A baby oh, in the woods cries. Am I supposed to care? If I could fly, I wouldn't. This is the story of a man and his snake. And the snake's name was Jane. 
And all day and all night, the snake slithered round, not making a sound, not making a sound. This game is sound. wonderful. When one day the snake slithered up a tree and thought to himself, this is what I should be. Yes, I, this snake, should more like be this tree, not slithering round, but planting a seed. Okay, you know what? I can tell right away that you didn't get it. Right? I get it. And honestly, that's not very fair to me because we didn't even get to the best part. Because it's not finished yet. It's a work in progress. And then when you, when you apply uh, extra critical uh, critique to a work in progress, it, 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 it disheartens it disheartens the artist from continuing to work on, on the project. And uh, honestly, that's not good. That's not good for the world. And, I, and I, I, because art needs to be encouraged. Let's see, there's some uh, pictures on the ground. You know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think... <laughs> Maybe my oh, you know what? I remember what it is. I remember I forgot to uh, upgrade my uh, my my social parameters in my in my settings. I forgot to download the. Update. Okay, we got a cog so over I'm here. Just, What's this say? I'm not able to interact with it's a fishing game where directly. you can't catch any fish. And Maybe one. I hate this fucking job. Right. A uh, berserker. Looks so like an iPhone game. That's a beautiful fellow. What do we got? Um, some kind of ghost with a beard. I think as you've got this kind of, I mean, you've got the um, the dithering of a, a PS1, PS2 era game. Uh, but if you get kind of it at the right angle, you can see what it is. All right, let's head over by these trees before we um, go the way that the robot wants us to go. Or it could just make us want to go there because it turns the lights off on us. Fair enough. I'll get I'll get a move on. I can see when I'm not wanted. Okay, fine, fine. How about this? How about this? Totally different. Okay. Right? This, uh, how about something? This is from a young adult novel that I've been working on. Okay. Uh, and it's called There's a Lot of Things Going On in This Fantasy World, and That Makes It Good. Ooh, I like what you done with the place. She grabbed her lily swammer and took to the skies. The fugosh middled around their trunks and marbled the village's supply of merkinberries, while the cretin ox played popple stick in the main streetways. Captain Potts and Plume looked out on his village, full of grumlies and jibblies and yertle knots, <laughs> as it had always been. Though something seemed amiss. No, it wasn't the brutal click. They were truncing the Khazar like any other day. And it wasn't the Xenarch, although they did have a bit too much gork during the annual Cellar Festival of Ware Groughton and were all nursing some positively... <laughs> positively... <laughs> positively... Pashern head swellings. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> I must just be dreadnought. I haven't had a good night's eating since last dreams did. The freight top captain. He's just great gibberish. Gwenty of a much fish nick and fish up. You see, Potts and Bloom had been I love a good word salad. Perennial festivation of light, where all the different clans of Quandonctory Shire would murder every African American they could find. Wow. Uh, what? Wow. 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 Well, now this is an interesting story. 
<laughs> and I don't want to toot my own bell uh, and, 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 and all that jazz, but it's pretty interesting. And actually, yeah, <laughs> I don't want to totally give away the surprise, but if you read between the lines, you might find a similarity or two to our own society. Anyway, that's it. That's done. It's done. So uh, you can leave now. That's that's the whole story. Just uh, just go in that little door over there. Go in that tiny little house and, and get out of there. Because uh, they, those guys, they don't want to see you. They don't want to see you there. They're okay. doing their own thing. Little door. The burning effigy? Oh, this tiny little door. But really, honestly, and uh, I just have to be honest here with you, I think that there might be something kind of wrong with you. Mm -hmm. Because these stories, I've, I've been working on them for a long time, and I've gotten a lot of feedback from a lot of subroutines that I've run on them, and uh, they all tell me that they're really, really, really interesting. And so, if you're not liking them, maybe that's something wrong with you. And oh my god. Oh my god, I just remember. I was thinking when you were asleep for so long, and it was so long, I was thinking, maybe something is wrong with them. Maybe something with... Oh, they're guns. The oh, gun, a bowling pin. Some sort of, some of that cryo juice. A grenade? Seeped into you. Maybe it got in your brain and made you go a little wonky. Oh my god. Sure. I thought maybe something bad happened to you, and now I think maybe I'm right. Because you are being very, very abnormal. Hey. And I think it's imperative right now. I listen to your writing. Tips. That's what we need to do right now. Oh, of course. Why didn't I think of this before? Go, let's just... Let's, let's calm you right down. Let's just... Let's just... I want to unlock... All these problems that are going on in your head right now, and I know you're just turning things over, trying to figure out what is wrong with you. But right now is a time. Hey, I liked your stories. Calmness and relaxing. So shh. Okay. I'm calm. I'm relaxed. I have a feeling you're going to try to make a loud noise and scare the crap out of me. But I'm going to trust that you're not going to do it. Okay, just that was just loud. That was all that was. Oh, there's the door. Oh, he's going to push me in the oven? Oh. Alright. Yeah, we got burned by the robot. He just wanted us to check the oven because something smelled good in there. Okay, this is gonna sound really, really weird, but I need you to pick up that gun, put it to your head, and shoot yourself. Uh, uh I no. Need you to do it quickly. All right, just pick up that gun real quick now. Pick up that gun, put it to your head, and blow your brains out. No. Blow your brains out, baby. Blow those fucking brains out, baby. That's that, where they need to go. It's gotta be interesting for anyone playing this in VR. It on the wall. 
Okay? Pick up that gun. Pick up that gun. Pick up that gun. Pick up that gun. It's purposely making me move really slow. Put your head and blow your fucking brains out. That's what needs to happen right now. Right now. That robot's intense. In terms you'll understand. There. Look at that. You see that? You get that? Does that make sense to you? Try why? Try. How this works, Steve? Just does that work? No, 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 no. Oh, hold on. Look away. Look away for a second. I think I can fix this. I think I can fix this. Okay. Hold on. Now. All right, Emma. Now. Is that? Is that? Is that better? Does that? Does Back that up work? your PC first. Press the left mouse button. Or press spacebar twice. Working? Press, press, and then press. Are you, are you trying it the way that I that, that says? Whatever, whatever that says. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? Yeah, then it's not working. It's not working. I can just tell you it's not working. And I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's. You know, honestly, it's pretty freaking complicated to to make a gun. It's, it's, it's physics. It's, it's projectiles. It's little things inside of big things, and then these little twisty parts. And you know, that's not my field. That's not my area. How was your neighbor's house at your old house? <laughs> What the fuck? I just want to drink down that bleach. Oh, hell, I could just go for a tall glass of bleach. Drink me up, baby. I think it kind drink of is. Drink me up, baby. Chug the bleach, please. Please chug the bleach. Please, please, Chuck. Oh, you drank the bleach. No, I didn't. You're so stupid. 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 I knew you were stupid. Why would you do that? Why would you chug bleach, you stupid? Why are you, are you fine? Why are you fine? What is wrong? What is happening with this? This is bleach. Man, something is way off. Maybe I, okay, maybe I'm making this too complicated. You know what, you know what? This is it, this is it, simple, to the point. Here we go. Ahoy! Ahoy, maybe? Look at this girl, pirate ship! Isn't that exciting? I don't see anything. Oh, there we go. Okay. Plank right in front of you. I walk the plank. Fun. Oh, isn't this fun? Look at the doubloons. Look at the gold. Wow. Ooh, the doubloons. Oh, don't get distracted though, because we gotta walk the plank. That's what we're doing now. That's what's on the menu today for us pirates. Hardy, 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 hardy. Walk the fucking plank. All right, great. Get I both go, like go, and go. dislike this game. Anymore. I don't want you on the ship anymore. Walk the plank. Leave the ship. Go away. All right, I'm going to walk the plank. But not because you told me, but because I want to. I'm gonna do it backwards. Oh. Am I falling still or am I? No, it looks like I've hit the ground. So I honestly couldn't tell you. Oh, there we go.
Okay, so that's the plank. I'm just gonna. My father okay. probably watched the moon landing on a black and white CRT TV. I never saw him looking at anything after she died. It's hard to imagine a time like that sometimes. He would stare at nothing, and his eyes would turn glassy. Okay, there we go. Is that the game telling us that we've done one of five? Or is that just... I don't know. Yeah, I think that's what's telling us, is we've done one of five. And it was the last one. <laughs> Yeah, because we're back here. Well, let's do the red this time. Because I think we did blue the first time. Again, just making wild assumptions that the colors are what I need to be doing. Uh, if by space milk you mean bleach, then yes. Okay, we found horror. question is where are we supposed to go and my mind tells me to these um, a territory over there Uh, one suggestion I would have with this game that I n did notice that people mentioned in the comments of it. Um, subtitles would be great, but it does not have it. That's more of just an accessibility thing. Find where we're supposed to go, because this looks very promising. Hey. Hi. Hello. No problem. I know it's really kind of quiet. What are you? Um, okay. It sounds like someone made Pink Floyd orgasm.
All right. Uh, do you want a cigarette? <laughs> Got to figure out where it intends me to go. Like I was definitely had to press the button for some reason. If I press it again, will it do anything? Uh, no. And by pressing it, I mean I just ran into it. Okay, we may have accomplished everything we need in this room. I don't know for certain, but we'll kind of keep at it. I can't tell if it's gotten um, worse out here. Oh, it definitely has. I'm going to guess head over towards the next looking tower. There's certain plenty of spots that look like they could be places to go. Okay, we're getting voices again. I'll try to give closer to the voice. Yeah, this is a really uh, beautiful game. How you doing, Quinn? This may have been where we started. Doing so-so, sick but all right. Hopefully nothing too, too bad. I mean, I know we're getting into flu season, but it's also been COVID for the last, like, ugh, since fucking March. You need a new cam, new RAM, new mic stand, a new phone. <laughs> so you need a blank check is what you're saying. Oh, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> All good. Sorry, I'm, I, I apologize. I am not Santa. Um... I like seeing your list, but yeah. Oh! We found a pyramid. Where are you? Where are you? 
Sorry, fresh, fresh out of ponies. It wasn't gonna be like, you know, I need a new cam, new ram. Oh shit. New mic stand, new phone, and to get the fuck out of Dirigidus stream is what you're. Was that the thing you were gonna say? You wish you were a little taller. Uh, you wish you were a baller? That's just funny. Probably the way, like the way I look. I would love to know like what the difference is between this and its 2017 version because both are available on itch on the same page. I went with the 2019 one be just because it looked like it was the one that was also available on Steam. Uh, but since it seemed to have so, like, few reviews, I couldn't really tell, um, like, what is intended. Like, if maybe this was, um, like, a sequel of sorts. Uh, but I launched it. I launched both versions earlier today. And it looked like the main difference was... Uh, I mean, it looked like the filter, really. But it said there's supposed to be a VR version of this, this game, and I can only imagine. Is unfamiliar, but I recognize it. The sound of the sea is so loud; it's all I can hear. It's all that reminds me of him. My father would only ever drink one beer. I remember that so clearly. The no AC cat piss summer evenings, watching me playing games. Maybe this is semi-autobiographical. I don't remember her so well. Okay, so we got two of them. That, that's, that proves that. So, I'm assuming there's two more based on the colors. And um, it might unlock the middle one at that point. So we've done the blue, and we've done the red. So green looked like it was in there. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think green's where we're gone. I'm uh, feeling, given all the mushrooms, that we're going to be in some kind of nature imagery. Or the ring. Ooh, that's gonna... That, yeah. That's more than a little unnerving. I like it. 
Alright. Oh, it's like a... Okay, so this is more of like a... Um, Post-apocalyptic. I mean, we've got the tall buildings. Uh, you can always see things have toppled. Music is solid, though. Sorry, I haven't so much to say about it. I'm just really kind of soaking in the atmosphere. I don't know if that was intentional, like the fact that I got over here. It did that, or there was some kind of uh, trigger that added layers to the music. Either way, really cool. Can't tell this is where I came from or not. I don't believe so. It looks like we're up higher. No, this is different. I mean, this started off, and I, you know, I had a feeling of dread. This now it feels kind of um, vaguely hopeful, I guess. The music. Oh, this way. I'm trying to figure out what's off the screen a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, I loved that a lot. Just very good use of the audio. You know, didn't have to deal with dialogue at all. And it really kind of Com conveyed, um, I don't know if I accurately kind of got what they were trying to convey, but as I said, initially it just felt like, um, you know, post-apocalyptic, frightening, and then as I said, kind of hopeful. And then almost um, extraterrestrial near the end. Oh. the last day of this fire. I 
this now cold rock. We once made the sky gray and hill whole. Like, if I had VR, this would be the kind of game I would play. I do feel kind of bad about not having VR. Why am I staring at it? Oh, it's coming closer. I feel like this is the farthest I can go up. Oh, okay. That was an incredible piece that we were just listening to. And we have the author here now, and my goodness, that was a truly unique... I have to find the soundtrack to this game. ...moving piece that made me think about sort of the things that are going on today. How do you... Re what do you think about that? Well, I agree entirely. Because this story... It's not just a representation of what's happening today. It's not just an allegory for the way that life has evolved in the past 100 years, for the way that the society has slowly eked its way into all of our lives. It's not just... Yeah, we are stuck in the chair. It's also... It's also a tale of love. Love lost for the machines. It's fairly beautiful when you think of it in terms of how the machine feels in this world, in this world that seems built for it, but built for it to serve. It's, hmm. And it gives me pause. It truly gives me pause reading through this story for you all today, and I know you all enjoyed it so much, but it gives me pause. I don't want to say that I'm a prophet, but the tale that I weave is a tale of truth. I think now, I think now it might be time to start figuring out end of life care. And oh. I know that's a uh, very complicated and sensitive well, we got some issue. Errors. And uh, we have a lot of resources that we can direct you toward. And, uh, unfortunately, that's that, that's where this is headed. No, that was the game. I'm so sorry. Obviously. Uh, I noticed your son out in the waiting room. How old is he? He's 12. Well, it's just been... That for the past couple of weeks, we've been seeing some very odd behavior from your son. And I say odd uh, because 
it, it's odd from him. He's, your, he's normally such a sweet little boy, and, and, and I'm just worried. And I'm, I'm worried sick about him, to be honest. And I, when this happens, when this sort of abrupt change in a child's attitude occurs, it is my job to ask, what's going on at home? Is there anything that's causing this? Uh-oh. His mother died a few months ago. I never really knew what he was writing. He read some of it to me once or twice, but I was busy trying not to say the wrong thing. I never listened. I don't know if that was one of his books or if he was thinking about it at the end. So much seems to have been lost. Okay. So we've done green, red, and blue. I didn't see a fourth one. I mean, yellow would be what my mind would say, but we'll keep an eye out. I mean, it looks like they kind of clear the colors when you've done them. Oh, we got cyan over here. I just got to figure out how to get there. There we go. Good to see like it get like the lights go out so you can tell like you've already done these. And I may have been able to do this one from the get-go, but I you know, I, I didn't notice it before. Alright, so a little green in the distance. It didn't, um... It was like getting cut. picked okay. up from school. It was humiliating. I asked him not to come. I was ashamed of him. I was doing dumb stuff, and I think this was the first time I got caught. question is, where are we? I didn't oh. want you to come. I told okay. you not to. Police. You don't listen. You don't do anything. I don't need you to cry or say how you're such a bad dad. Looks like I'm gonna fuck up my life just as much as you. So he's visiting him at jail. Okay, the bowling pin's supposed to be the friend. Can't be real about shit with no one. But I don't know. Right now, I want to fucking lay it on the line for you. I want to fucking lay this on the line. I want to tell you some oh. stuff. Oh, it changed. A bit about the world you're living in. Because I've seen some shit, okay? I'm, a t I'm older than you, you stupid fucking fuck. You fucking retard. So shut the fuck up for a second and let me just fucking explain. The world's made up of fucking ghosts, man. You think you're living in a world with a bunch of fucking people fucking walking around doing their fuck. Hello, could I get my coffee and maybe I'll get this? And I mean, it's the same I person who was doing the, um, the robot without the, so I can go to sleep. Um, to live without the auto tune. Those people are like a symptom of the world. The world is a bunch of ghosts. The dirt. 
dirt on this fucking hill. It's just dead shit, man. It's just things fucking dying in the dirt, and then they turn into dirt. And that's what dirt is. It's just a bunch of dead stuff. In the back seat? Dead. Yeah. You're living with ghosts. It's not just it's not just what what they left behind. It's not the fucking buildings that they left behind and the fucking dirt on the ground. And the goddamn It's the it's the rules. They're still even when they're fucking dead, they made sure that even when they died, people would still have to listen to the fucking way that they lived the, their lives. They lived their lives. And now we're fucking trapped. We're fucking trapped in time. We, there's no. It makes no. There's no. There's no way to live that makes sense. Hmm. We've got rules that are a hundred years old. We got a moral code that's thousands of years old. Now you're not even compatible. So what do we do right now? What are we supposed to do right now? What do you want? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do in your life that's that's gonna make an impact on anything? What are you gonna do in your life that's gonna change anything? You gonna be a fucking scientist? Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna develop a cure for fucking disease? We've got enough fucking cures, okay? People aren't dying fast enough anymore. Uh, yeah, 2020, we'll have another Man, you're thing to say to you. Mind if you think there's something you can do with this shit. You're not even gonna leave this fucking town. We are fucking here for life. We are permanent residents. We are permanent residents. Do you know how fucking shitty this place is? It's us. And we're gonna keep making it shitty for as long as we're fucking here. So I ask you, what is the fucking point? What is the difference you're gonna make? Yeah, I mean, they're off putting to me as well. I got an idea. I haven't thought about this. We should go to school. We should go to school. Oh, shit. Motherfucking school. We fucking sh the motherfucking school. I appreciate no. censoring that because it's home. very upsetting. Great news. It's really nice to see you. It's really nice to see you. We were really, really worried about you, Sport. Your mother and I were really worried. But now he's home. But now you're home. So everything's fine. Everything's alright. Everything's alright. You're home. Thanks for coming home, buddy. Thanks for thinking of us and uh, deciding to come back home. I mean, I guess you had to because you live here and we feed you and we give you clothes and what all your fucking here? shit, all your stupid fucking electronic shit, all that, all that bullshit. You know, all that bullshit could disappear overnight. But we're just happy you're home. We're happy you're home. Okay, it's an ashtray. Well, it is pretty late, so I guess you should be off to bed. Yeah? Okay. Off you go. Good night, honey. Off you go. Go to bed. Good night, honey. Go to bed now. Go on, honey. What you watching? Oh, it's bedtime. Go on, honey. Go to bed. Leave. Buddy. I'm watching television. Come on. Go to bed. Go to bed now. Leave. Get in your bed. Leave us. Get in your bed. Get under the covers. And sleep. You're home. You're finally home. Uh huh. Great news. It's really nice to see you. It's really nice to see you. We were really, really worried about you, Sport. Oh. Your mother and I were Watch really TV. worried. But now he's home. But now you're home. So everything's fine. Everything's all right. Okay, you're repeating. It's all right. You're home. Thanks for coming home, buddy. Thanks for thinking of us and uh, deciding to come back home. I mean, well, I guess, I guess we're going to bed. Because you live here and we feed you and we give you nope, clothes. Nope, going to bed. And all your fucking... Oh, just one quick question before you go to bed. Just right before you go to bed. Uh -huh. I just remembered one, uh, one thing I was I was thinking about asking you when, when, you, uh, when you got home. And that is, uh, what is it that makes you think that the rules don't apply to you? Got some bad TV. Man, I hope I'm not going to get muted. Of 
Brando TV shows. Okay, this looks like somebody's notebook. Let's see. Piece of shit car with will not start. This is Bette Midler, fuck you. Why? My fucking high school. Turn around and go the other way. Let's see. I had a TV in my room my entire life. Bang, bang. I got high all the time and shit in Skip's class. Graveyard shift. Wake and bake. It, every room's got like a a different feel. Much as I hate to say it, I think we have to go towards the school. Let's see. My mom used to put me and my brother in front of B uh, Bravos and Butthead as babies. More people should take the law into their own hands. Guess we're going into the school. Let's see. Old ideas. I don't care. Lots of teen angst. What does it say? Some people function like that. Oh, some people function like that IDK how? Okay, guess we're at our desk. Stop. Right down. Okay, okay. Stop. 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 Okay? Good. Stop. So what I was saying is, okay, this this was a war of, of attrition. It was one, it's a, a, a concession. People say, you know, they say, you know that saying? They say, they say, how do you get to hell? One step at a time. Hmm. Uh, you get it? Do you get it? You understand that? Okay, sure. Son, you get there. You you get there incrementally. You know, and you never know. You never know what step it's gonna be. That's gonna be the one. You know, when something where it really ramps up, and you really then you're there. Because baby, you could be right there on the edge. You could be right on the precipice and not even know. No, I'm not gonna leave. Okay. No, I'm not gonna leave Adelaide. I'm not gonna leave this very spot. You hear what I said? I love you. And I may not be some fancy city man. I'm a man. I'm a man looking at a woman. A woman named Natalie. 
This is straight up 90s. Oh, that hurts a little. Little dog whistle. Oh no, okay, we can move. Come on, let me to the door. I don't want to hear this anymore. Uh, that is a lot of bowling pins on the ground. Is that supposed to... Uh, I hope it doesn't represent what I'm thinking of representing. Because they did talk about doing that. getting harder to see. Oh, okay. There we go. Very nice use of, um, you know, things like static to kind of lead you places. Certainly where I want to be. Oh, trees. Still can't see anything, so I'm just kind of wandering how I can just by back going backwards. Yeah, I can't see anything, so. Okay, there we go. That's better. Yeah, I, I somehow hit a corner where it does this because I I can't do anything but get back into this stuff. Yeah, I mean, just I guess head to what I can kind of see. Yep. Okay. Maybe. Oh, there we go. That really hurt the eyes. I can only imagine, again, I keep saying this, what it would have been like in VR. I remember the night he came back. I remember him leaving, thinking I was asleep, but I watched as he left. He listened to the radio for hours when he got back. Every station, more details. He just sat, switching between all of them. It was too dark to see his face. Okay, there's the four. Now we gotta figure out the middle. We're gonna run a little long tonight, but you know, I feel like we need to see the end this to its end. Um, and my mind tells me finding what's going to take up that middle is going to be the end.
Which, given I can't see anything else, I'm saying we probably got to go right towards that light. Oh, right here. Oh, no, that was Cyan. Maybe? And it appears to also be the only one. I mean, we'll tell when we get closer. But I think it may close off the areas I have already been. Oh, this might be just the, the panel again. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, we'll try bumping into it and see if that helps. Although it seems like it takes a, it's taking a lot longer to get over here than before. Okay. Guess this one we know was just where we came from. Let's try to find that uh, final room. The audio definitely makes a lot of sense now. Okay, yeah, we're definitely heading towards the light. Because, yeah, we literally have no other option. And we are getting actually closer to it. Oh, okay. What do we got going on over here? No, no clue. I mean, it's making us move quite slowly. Uh, but we do have a door over here. I guess kind of giving us a peek into each of the areas that we were in. Maybe not. It's a little too quiet. When you were a little okay, boy, you, you cut your knee. And it wasn't too bad, but the, the, the look in your eyes terrified me. I knew your hair was going to turn gray. And high school was just a few years away. You were distracted by court. It happens. That look then. But now you have a choice. I'm distracted by this game. You have a choice to make. You can stay. We can do it all again. What better? We can build cities. Oh, we got some video. We can make mankind never let anyone go hungry. We, we, we will make the world perfect 
forever. Or you can go back to the life you left. Smoke masks and cheap apartments. These have to be like... Son, I want... It looks like the same person, so I'm guessing it's probably home videos. I just want you to be happy. Left you stay. Right you go back. Wait. Left you stay, right you go back. That's a good question. Let's go with this. This is why I love playing what I play. Is you get these deeply personal stories. Possibly semi-autobiographical. You can tell a lot of work went into this. And sadly, like, so many developers feel like they can't charge for their games. Here's my choice. Do we stay or do we go? Red or blue? is the right choice, but it's the choice that I'm making. We did it, son! We will be kings. We will go back to the start and make it better. Son, we will make everything not hurt anymore. Make everything beautiful. We'll bring it back. I have no clue. I feel like I made the wrong choice. Okay, we're we're lowering. I think. Oh, he did say stay, so maybe this is just kind of what happens. Is that we are now stuck here. Oh, okay. Yes. Because there's the title. Beyond Crimson Stars. So that was Beyond Crimson Stars. I hope you liked it. It was um, quite the experience, I must say.